Our other top story tonight, scorching hot temperatures creating dangerous conditions across the Carolinas. Charlotte setting a record today. The temperatures have been above 90 for seven days in a row. That is the longest streak of consecutive 90 plus days in the Queen City's history. The temperatures tonight still in the 90s. That's why CMPD is sending a reminder to all parents to look before you lock. It comes after a three year old was left in a car without air conditioning. It happened yesterday at North Lake Mall during one of the hottest times of the day. And according to our first Warren storm team, the temperature at the time was 93 degrees. After 10 minutes inside of the car, it would have been 112 degrees. We have first Warren team coverage tonight. Brad has more on the oppressive heat and when we could see some relief. But first, defender Alex Shabad has the latest details on the child left in that hot car at North Lake Mall. Alex? Well, I can tell you it's hot just standing outside for a few minutes, let alone being inside of a car. And police say that three year old boy had no air conditioning. Tonight, we're going to look at numbers that show just how dangerous that can be. You know it's hot when drivers do this. Sun reflectors in the windshield are over here, a car parked in the shade. It gets sweltering in here. Why do you think everybody's parked around trees? And that's from someone visiting the area from yeah. Florida. So he was surprised to learn a mom is accused of leaving her child alone inside a car with no no air conditioning. The call came in just before three yesterday afternoon on one of the hottest days of the year. I mean, that's prime time heat. I mean, that's you got to you got to pay attention. It comes just days after a tragedy in South Carolina. Authorities say four year old Zyana Kenrafan died after he accidentally locked himself in a hot car. The fact of the matter is if the car is locked, the children can't get in. Already this year, nine children have died inside hot cars, according to the National Safety Council. That includes a four-month-old baby girl left inside a hot daycare van for four and a half hours in Florida. Families are being destroyed unnecessarily. This has got to stop. In the latest case, CMPD says 35-year-old Bazanga Baruti was cited for misdemeanor child neglect. I know how easy it is to lose track of things, but I mean, that's something serious. At this point in the investigation, police are not saying how long the three-year-old boy was inside of the car. Fortunately, he was not injured in the case. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.